exercises to try and keep a lid on things. If you don't do it, you'll lose your funding. Of course we'll do it. As you can see, there is absolutely no reason not to have a carnival. I mean, there's got to be some extra money lying around. But I don't want to touch my discretionary fund. I spoke up the largest discretionary fund in the history of the student council. And that, my friend, is my legacy. I say we put it to a vote. Who wants a carnival? Fine, have your carnival. But it better be great, or I will not take credit for it. Did you really do it, Bobby? I heard a rumor you got the carnival, and that the new girl is really 22 and a cop. That's right, the carnival's on. I guess I'm gonna need a committee to get this thing off the ground. Who's in? Just in time. Is it really that bad? What happened, Leo? I, I want to be in charge of bumper cars. No, dude. Bumper cars are my thing. Look at those children. A power keg of diversity. I'll start with them. Tonight's King of the Hill episode is brought to you by Hotel Ireland. We're not that kind of hotel anymore. Thursday night. Children's Hospital tackles its most controversial subject yet. Blake, aren't you looking for the multicolored restroom? Not today. Sometimes you can't judge a carnival until you've walked a mile in his face. We accept you, Blake. You're one of us now. Or maybe we're one of you. Or maybe we're all the same. Or maybe we're just not so different after all, you see, Blake? I don't, I don't get it. Children's Hospital, Thursday at midnight on Adult Swim. King of the Hill is brought to you by the Farland Public Library. And by DiGiorno. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno.